I have been busy for the last uh, quite a few days, or more than a week now, with um, birthday celebrations. All the attention you get and the food you share give a very good feeling. You can relate to that, can't you? <laughs> Such celebrations uh, are expressions of our um, social um, beingness, or uh, just beca because we are social beings, we do need uh, such celebrations and uh, we celebrate it. But is that all we can make of uh, these kind of uh, gatherings and uh, food and celebrations? Today's gospel has got a little bit uh, of uh, instruction and teaching on um, how we can uh, better in this uh, area. The basic uh, thing the gospel teaches is that uh, you, when you consider a celebration, invite the nobodies in the community and include them in uh, your celebration. Invite those who are the fringes of the society to your life. And that way you make them um, feel uh, grateful to you. And seeing their sense of uh, gratitude to you, they'll make your life fuller. In the gospel, Jesus said, uh, when you give a lunch or a dinner, do not ask your friends, brothers, relatives, or uh, rich neighbors for the fear they may repay your courtesy by inviting you to return. No, when you have a party, invite the poor, cripple, the lame, the blind, and so on. Because you will be fortunate there. Your reward will be great. Yes, there is no greater joy than uh, um, seeing that you make others grateful to you. And that's about um, this worldly life. And the gospel promises that this is true, not only here uh, on this earth, but hereafter as well. You will be rewarded when uh, the day of uh, reckoning happens on the day of resurrection. That means uh, a wise and divinely inspired person will not be seeking attention to himself or herself. A wise and divinely inspired person will not be seeking the place of uh, honor here on earth uh, because he or she would uh, really know that uh, those who humble uh, who will be exalted by God. Not those who are full of themselves, but those who humble. And you see so many of such a um, reversal in their fortune and status as a blessing from God in uh, our own experience, from the stories we see and hear from people around us and from what we read in the gospel and uh, the rest of the Bible. Therefore, uh, let us be wise and prudent enough to make our life fuller by choosing the right attitude and the best way 
we deal with our life. God bless.